Cooking up a storm, unraveling the idioms in English. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel where we make learning English easy and fun. Today, we're going to dive into a very interesting English phrase, cooking up a storm. This idiom might sound a bit strange at first, but don't worry, by the end of this video, you'll not only understand what it means but also how to use it in your daily conversations. Cooking up a storm is an idiom that creates a vivid mental image. Despite what you might first think, it has nothing to do with actual weather. This phrase is used to describe someone cooking a large amount of food or cooking in a very enthusiastic and energetic way. Imagine someone in the kitchen, moving around quickly, using many pots and pans, and preparing lots of dishes, that's cooking up a storm. Understanding where an idiom comes from can often help us remember its meaning. The phrase, cooking up a storm, likely originated from the idea of a storm being a powerful and intense event. Just like a storm involves a lot of activity and energy, so does cooking in this vigorous and lively manner. It's as if the cook is creating a storm of culinary activity in the kitchen. Let's put this idiom into context with some examples. This will help you understand how to use it in real life situations. 1. When I arrived home, I found my mom cooking up a storm for the family reunion. 2. The chef was cooking up a storm, preparing for the big wedding banquet. 3. I plan to spend my weekend cooking up a storm for the charity bake sale. Notice how in each example, the phrase is used to describe busy, energetic cooking, often for a special occasion or a large number of people. It's always useful to learn similar phrases or idioms. Here are a few that convey a similar meaning. 1. Whipping up a feast. 2. Making a big spread. 3. Preparing a banquet. These phrases also describe the act of preparing a lot of food usually in an enthusiastic or elaborate manner. That's all for today's lesson on the phrase, cooking up a storm. I hope you found this explanation helpful and that you're now confident in understanding and using this idiom in English. Remember, idioms are a fun way to spice up your language skills and sound more like a native speaker. Keep practicing, and soon you'll be cooking up a storm in your English conversations too. See you in our next video.